Hello and good morning. Uh, so I got a little interesting thing here. Uh, this is a uh, little um, handheld video game system, super cheap. Um, this one says it's called a Madamax. So I picked this up on Amazon because I saw that it played uh, Nintendo ROMs that were pre-built in. And I'm like, okay, I gotta try it. So uh, it was normally $20. And when I first uh, was going to get it, it uh, was uh, priced at like 16 Then it dropped to 14 So you know it's quality. So let's take a look here. That's what the unit looks like. Uh, I like how they have the uh, Christmas stuff on it, even though it's uh, just shy of October. Um, so yeah, let's open it up and take a look and see what we got. So where's the unit? We got this little fun little card that's got instructions, which just tells you how to put batteries in it, pretty much. There's a TV out. I can't imagine what this would look like on a TV, to be honest. Probably awful. It's only RSA output. I might try that at some point. Uh, so, you know, there's that. And here's the unit itself. Uh, really lightweight. Super duper lightweight. And you got your start, uh, your reset, your directionals. Uh, you will notice that B and A are reversed. Normally on a Nintendo controller, B's here, A's here. There's a little turbo button. Uh, yeah, that's bad. If you have Nintendo memory, B and A reversed are awful. So there's a power button. Here's the AV out. Yeah, I don't know why it has AV out and not an actual uh, audio port, but oh well. And there's the uh, volume. And here's where the batteries go. I pre-installed some batteries. It takes three AAAs, which is also a mark of uh, an awesome system. Let's turn it on and see how it looks. Uh, as you can see, it looks wonderful. Hopefully you can hear that. I'm going to turn it down because the sound is just awful. I'm just going to take a look at a couple of games here because I'm not going through all these because they're just terrible. Uh, so we got Mario 3, which is just standard Mario 3. Now here's Mario 14. Oh yeah, you gotta hit start. Let's take a look at Mario 14. Yeah. I don't know what game Mario 14 is supposed to be. Yep. The jump button's in the wrong place. I can't figure this game out. There's a key. That's a thing. So yeah, this is a weird game. I don't know what game got reskinned for Mario, but you can tell the sound is awful. Uh, Dr. Mario's Dr. Mario. Turtles 4 is actually the tournament fighter, which is a semi-rare Turtles game for the NES. It's not good, but it's semi-rare. Some Contra games. That's kind of kind of nice. Here's your Chippendales, Adventure Islands. Those are always good. You can't go wrong with those. Uh, Bubble Bobble 2, that's Double Dragon. I don't know what Hot High School is. Let's take a look at that real quick. I still don't know what this is. Stage 1. That is a little hard to see. This is an OK LED. Oh, it's Dodgeball. This is an OK LED screen, but it's not good. Something this cheap, though, this is really a value. As you can see, it, it legitimately has 400 games. Bird Bird Week is awful. I've seen that one. Um, let's see what else we got here that might be interesting. There's all the Donkey Kongs. Door Door is nice. Uh, Xerian. Uh, both Galaga and Galaxian. That's kind of nice. Right on Bungling Bay. Uh, so there's, there's some pretty nice games on here, to be honest. So, I mean, it's for something cheap. Uh, it's worth noting the directional pad is the worst thing on the planet. It really is the worst thing on the planet. I, I can't say how bad the directional pad feels. It's one of those things you know when you've used a directional pad. You know a bad directional pad, and it's a bad directional pad. This is... I'm, I like shooters. This is an okay one. Yeah, it's not bad. This is definitely worth it if you just want to like try something goofy. 
I'll try just a few more of these. Uh, it's hard to see through his viewfinder. There was one game here that was really amazing. I think it was on the other screen. Uh, was it the... Uh, oh yeah, hold on, go up. It was Utmost Warfare, I think, was really good. Yeah, this is a... I, I need to actually see if I can find the ROM of this, because this is actually good... This is actually a fun... I like this. Can't really see through the viewfinder because it's pretty mushy. But so yeah, uh, do I recommend the uh, Made Max RX One, RS One, or RSI or whatever it's called? Uh, sort of. If you just have a few bucks to spend on a little cheap handheld, uh, yeah, I would say it's worth buying. Uh, I mean. It's tiny. You can just slip it in like a, like a hoodie pocket if you're just like going out somewhere. You just need to kill a few seconds. As you can see, this is my hand. I have pretty big hands, but still, it's tiny. Um, roughly the size of uh, probably Game Boy Micro, but it's a lot thicker. I think they went for that Game Boy Micro look. They just didn't quite catch it. But uh, yeah. Um, mildly surprised it's it's bad but it's good bad so there you go uh i recommend it